Welcome to the Multicultural Grants Program Online Grant Tutorials. In this video, we will discuss accessing Smarty Grants, changing your password, changing the user, navigating and viewing additional forms, attaching supporting documents, submitting your application, and reopening an application form. For more information on the Multicultural Grants Program, you can view the online grant tutorials, read the frequently asked questions, download the funding guidelines, or contact the Multicultural Affairs Grants Team. When a grant round opens, click the Apply Now button on the Multicultural Affairs website. This will take you to the online grants portal, Smarty Grants, landing on the important information page for the specific grant you are applying for. From this page, you will have the option to start a submission, preview the form, or download a PDF of the preview form. Once you are ready to start your submission, you will be prompted to log in or register. If your organization has an existing account with Smarty Grants, log in using your email and password. If your organization is new to Smarty Grants, click the link to register. Registering requires your name, organization, email address, and a password that is at least eight characters long, includes both uppercase and lowercase letters, and a non-alphanumeric character. Remember to keep a record of your password in a safe place. When you are logged in and start your submission, you will be given a unique submission number. Remember to keep a record of this number for any communications with the Multicultural Affairs Grants team. You can change your password by clicking the link on the login screen. Enter the email address you registered with and click the reset button. An email will be sent to the registered email address. Follow the instructions and click on the link provided. This will take you to a page where you can enter your new password. To change the email address associated with your Smarty Grants account, email multiculturalaffairs at sa.gov.au. Please include the current email address the new email address and the evidence to support the change required. For example, a committee position change or change of public officer. To change the name of the user for your account, log into your account and select My Submissions. From this page, you can select the Update Details link. Enter the new details and select Save Changes. It is simple to navigate your way through the application form. On every screen or page of the form, you will find a form navigation contents box. This links directly to every page of the application. Click the links to jump directly to the page you want. You can also click next page or previous page on the top or bottom of each page to move forward or backward through the application. Don't forget to save your progress regularly. The navigation bar at the top of the screen allows you to easily navigate between Current Round and My Submissions. The Current Rounds page provides a list of all multicultural grants currently open for applications. Click the grant name to start a new application. The My Submissions page provides a list of all current and archived submissions. Click the submission number for more information. Each submission box 
has an arrow in the bottom right corner. Click the down arrow to view all forms attached to a submission. This could include the application form, reporting form and any other forms added during the application process or grant term. Each submission and each form in that submission will have a status showing whether it is in progress or submitted. You can archive or delete a submission by selecting the three bars next to the status. If you delete a submission, you will delete all forms linked to that submission. This action is permanent and cannot be undone. It is best to archive completed submissions so you can keep a record of past applications. You may need to upload attachments to support your application. This is very simple, but requires you to have the document saved on your computer or a storage device. From the Supporting Documentation page, click on Choose Files and select the relevant file. You need to allow enough time for each file to upload before trying to attach another file. Files can be up to 25 megabytes each, however, we recommend trying to keep files to a maximum of 5 megabytes. The larger the file, the longer the upload time. If you upload the wrong file, simply click Remove. You will find a Review and Submit button at the bottom of the navigation panel. You need to review your application before you can submit it. Once you have reviewed your application, you can submit by clicking Submit at the top or bottom of the screen. You will not be able to submit your application until all the compulsory questions are completed and there are no validation errors. Once you have submitted your application, no further editing or uploading of support materials is possible. When you submit your application, you will receive a confirmation email with a copy of your submitted application attached. This will be sent to the email you used to register. If you do not receive a confirmation of submission email, then you should presume that your submission has not been submitted. Check the email hasn't landed in your spam or junk email folder. Sometimes organizations click submit before realizing they forgot to attach a document or need to add more information to their application. If the grant round is still open, you can request to have the application form reopened by contacting Multicultural Affairs with the submission number. If the grant round is closed, additional information will not be accepted. All grants offered through the Multicultural Grants Program are managed using the Smarty Grants online grants portal. Contact the Grants team to discuss any difficulties with accessing your Smarty Grants account or an online form. The team is available to answer your questions from 9am to 5pm Monday to Friday. You can reach the Grants team by email at multiculturalaffairs at sa.gov.au or by phone on 1300 239 468.